Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to use Data MIDI with Ableton Live. All right. So first of all, we have this pre-recorded audio. It's just me singing. Let's listen to it. All right. Now let's add Data MIDI. So let's search for it. VST3. Okay, we added Dota MIDI. And now let's add the synthesizer on a MIDI track. That will be add in. Okay, we added add in. Now we have to change the pitch bend range to 24 semitones. There you go. Okay, now we need to tell this track to get to the MIDI from this track. And we do it here. MIDI from track 3. And here we select Dodo MIDI. That's the only options because that's the only MIDI source currently on this track. Alright, now let's make sure monitor is that uh, working so it will work and we'll hear the sound and we need to add another instance of data MIDI in order to control the volume right after adding here after the synthesizer so let's add data MIDI again there you go now the second instance of data MIDI 2 have to have the master off Right, so the first one here has master on and the second one master off. And they have to have the same port number. So this is port number one and this is port number one. It has to have the same port number so that they'll be able to communicate. Now if you have other tracks with data MIDI, make sure to use the same port number for the first instance and the second instance but make sure that it's different from this port number so there will not be a clash between the different instances of data MIDI. All right so there we go again let's look at it second data MIDI no master port one first one master port one now everything should work and we should hear it, so let's listen. Alright, that's Adin playing uh, the music. And we can change a few things, let's change the octave. And an Adin... There you go. An Adin, I want to change the envelope to zero attack because Dodo MIDI already controls the, the envelope so we don't want Odin to change it as well and have a slower attack so I'll just change all the attack to zero and let's listen to it all right that's working. Thank you for listening. That was a quick guide tutorial to show you how to use Dota MIDI 2 in Ableton Live. Thank you.